Watch Report, where we talk about things we watch this week. Weekly Watch Report on Monday. 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 Wow. That just added some new flair to my jingle. I know the people who hate the jingle are going to love that. It wasn't Monday. Oh, it wasn't It wasn't Monday. So it's Weekly Watch Report on Monday. It wasn't Monday. Fucking dare. Um, okay, I'm going to start off with I watched Nobody Wants This, the new rom com show with Kristen Bell and Adam Brody. Loved it. I Absolutely it. ate this show up. I'm giving it an A because it's a classic, just like feel good rom com. Um, makes you believe in like the good, you know? Like Adam Brody is not a bad guy. Like he's just trying to tell Kristen Bell he's a good guy and he cares about her and, and she, you know. She's used to toxic. She can't give herself away, mm. but she does with him. And um, I'm giving it a solid A. It's you a full show or a movie? Show. show. Ten eight. episodes. Or ten is episodes. It, is it ten? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I watched eight to ten. I finished it. Um, I like the, yeah, like the ending. People were giving me shit for like giving it a B minus last week. I thought that was good, but like I'll give it a B plus this week. I thought it ended very strong. I like the ending. He. I don't want to spoil it. I was just about to say like mm-hmm. what happened, but um, yeah, no, like and if it wasn't, no offense to Kristen Bell. If it wasn't Kristen Bell, I think it'd be in the A range for me. I just am not. She doesn't do it for me. <laughs> He's just not. I just Kristen don't Bell like Kristen fan. Bell. Like, Why? sorry. Like, I'm trying to think of anything I've liked with. I I don't hate her. I just, I just don't love her. I like Kristen Bell as an actress. Like, I don't. What What is the gripe with Kristen Bell? I don't know. There's just you something don't think about she's her. Cute enough? No, that's not wow. it. Wow. <laughs> no, I can't believe you're saying you don't think she's cute enough. No, there, it's that's just toxic. I of just you. can't. I don't know. I, for some reason, I can't like feel bad for her. I, I, I just. Well, I don't know if yeah. this character is the type of character where you necessarily like, feel bad for her. You don't root for her. I don't root for her. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> is it like, really like it? It's. I don't even know where this is coming from with you. Did you see no. her in something else? That no, makes you maybe. Not... I'm trying to think. I just looked her up. Like, I mean, forgetting Sarah Marshall. I guess like I liked her in that. But like she she's a playing, hateable like, character in forgetting that. Sarah and, Marshall. Yeah, she she cheats on her or she leaves her her man in forgetting yeah, Sarah Marshall. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, so maybe you got caught. I mean, maybe th- she's I, such a good actor that you got caught in her character. I wouldn't say she's playing like a likable character in this show. Like she's kind of like a little bit unlikable. Like sh- I think there like, are... she's very like influencery, like you know, like in that realm. I don't. I wouldn't say she's unlikable. Um, I think that there are women that can relate to her character in the sense of like they're always chasing like a toxic guy and I'm just they never other... want to fully give themselves away and then she finally does with the right man i'm just thinking of like other actresses that i could feel like if this was anna de armas i'd be like a a what it's because you're attracted to her well that's I i'm attracted see... to both of them i mean Don't i couldn't me see anna de armas in this role at all not even a little bit. Like, should I pick another blonde? Or? <laughs> like, I mean, the fact oh, that, oh, oh, uh, you know, if this was Ana de Armas, if this was Sydney Sweeney, this would no, get no, an A+. No, plus. No, no, That's no, like no, what Sydney that was. Sweeney, I, I'm with I you there. I'm, no. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of, like, someone else in her world, but. Kristen Bell and Ana de Armas are not in the same world, in my opinion. Is it like a, com- it's a comedy? It's like a rom com. Yeah, uh, Ana de Armas. Not a. She's a more of a serious actor. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm like Scarlett Johansson. She would have killed it. <laughs> You're just. <laughs> Even Cameron Diaz, like. Cameron Diaz. In Jennifer this... and Emma Stone, like give me any of those people. Like no, nope. right. and honestly, I don't hate Kristen Bell. I just. She just doesn't do it for me. I thought Kristen and Bell I still was great. I'm giving this a B plus. That's how good this was. Uh, okay. I don't love Kristen yeah. Bell, and I still like enjoyed the show. <laughs> uh, Scarlett, you threw Scarlett Johansson Natalie into Portman, a Netflix Natalie rom-com. Portman. <laughs> Reese Witherspoon. Like, what did you say? Blonde people. actresses? No, no. I mean, Jennifer Aniston. Is she blonde? I don't. <laughs> Jennifer <laughs> Aniston is too old for this role. <laughs> is she? How old is Kristen Bell? They're gotta be like I mean, the same this age. role is not for like. Kristen Bell is. 44 and all right Jennifer Aniston what's the premise of the show so it's about uh two sisters that have a podcast well do you know who Aaron and Sarah Foster are Arian Foster (laughs) Aaron Aaron Foster and Sarah Foster David Foster's daughters I don't think so so Aaron Foster um it's like loosely based on her life she ends up um she ended up marrying a Jewish guy and converted for him and her and Sarah have a podcast and they have a, a big brand and I mean they are David Foster's daughters in the show. They are not the daughters of someone famous. But in this show, the two women have a podcast. It's like, I guess, 
I think, I think it's a well-known podcast. There's even a Call Her Daddy joke in there. Oh, very specific reference yeah, to Call Her Daddy. Very specific Call Her Daddy reference <laughs> in there um, about her $60 million deal. Um, and she dates, you know, toxic guys and has bad relationships. And she talks about it on the podcast. And then she ends up meeting uh, a rabbi who is a great guy. And he really likes her. His name and, is Noah. And his name's Noah. And um, No wonder you gave it a B plus. It's a classic tale of of two people falling in love, but I don't think Jennifer Aniston is playing this role. A podcaster and a rabbi. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Got it. Jennifer it's Aniston. very close to home. <laughs> yeah, how about the representation My grandpa, shows? when my beard grows out, calls me rabbi. Really? Yeah. He, I don't think he loves the beard. Oh, uh, he so wants you to shave it? A negative thing? I yeah. like your beard. Would you ever shave your beard? I was thinking about this the other day. I'm just kind of scared what's under there. It's been so long. <laughs> Did you look at the filter? Did you look at the TikTok? Oh, I, I actually went on TikTok and I like was trying to figure out how to do it because I'm like, and I couldn't figure out how to do it. Is but. there a reasoning why you want to get rid of it? I mean, it's just been so long that I'm like, I wonder. Also, we posted, we posted a picture of like, it was me, Tommy, uh, Steve, who works here, and Tom, who works here. And it was like a side by side of like a picture of us in 2018, a picture the of us now. Show. Yeah, and a lot of the replies, not just to me, to them, were like, kind of just like ranking like who looks, and they were like that guy like looks the worst, like to me. I mean, I have a beard. Back then, I didn't have a beard. I don't know. So you're kind of got in my head a little bit. I'm so, like, did I look hot? Like, oh, you're so hot, they were bro. saying you some girl better. responds to me being like, "Damn, like yikes! Like you used to look good." <gasps> what? <laughs> wow. So they were saying you look better without the beard. In that picture, I will, I'll say that uh, that was a good picture of me. Like, you look maybe this you look one was great with the beard. Thanks. No, I don't think I'll get. <laughs> don't overthink it. No, no, I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm too scared. Um, Anyways, this show's an A for me, and I guess a B plus for Noah because of Kristen Bell. Fair. Yeah. Um, Tim Dillon special. Did you guys watch that? I did. So that's a new show. That's so I think it's just a special. Oh, really? And I think it's just him basically being Jerry Springer. Yeah. That's the take or like I got. Maury Povich. Yeah, or, yeah. Uh, Jenna, whatever, Jenna, jo Ricky Lake. Right. So you watched some of it. Yes. Did you think it was real? Like, do you think the people there knew what was going on? Because I can't decide. So I, I looked into it that it is 100% real. Mm -hmm. So, but I was confused because I always wondered this about Jerry Springer. That when you and your wife get on a plane from Mississippi to go to Chicago to be on the Jerry Springer show, you never talk about on the way there like, hey, what, what are we going to do? And it's just like, oh, I have a secret that I want to tell you or something like that. That's what I don't understand about this. It's like they know they're going on the show to discuss... And the one guy said he lost two hundred thousand dollars in uh, in NFTs or right. something like that. And it's you're like, just and you're deciding you're going to tell your wife on this show. Why? Like yeah. I can't wrap my head around it. I found it to be entertaining. Is it like when someone goes to a like a very public restaurant and breaks up with someone because they think they won't make a scene because <laughs> more people are watching? Yeah, like, like it has to be something like that. That like or. And and this is another thing that I was thinking, like Jerry Springer happened a couple notches before everybody in America wanted to be so famous mm -hmm. and it was so accessible. And so maybe this show is, is, this is more the time for a show like this because everybody, it doesn't matter how embarrassing your life is or your story that you have to tell, you want to tell it because you know that it'll get a lot of eyes on you. I guess, I just can't wrap my head around it and what they think they are going for, right? Like the audience members, do they get invited to this? Are they signing up? Like I need to know the logistics behind this show. I, I watched another TikTok on some of the audience members mm -hmm. and the guy was saying that they like, he got there and they like gave them like MAGA hats or something like that. So I think that they were trying to make the audience look as extreme as mm -hmm. possible. Right, because you had both sides of the yeah. political spectrum in the audience, but then it wasn't... Cause it wasn't then I was political. Like, it though. wasn't political, because then I was like, am I watching... Is this about to be political? Yeah. Or... But then it wasn't. It was about like a mom, an almond mom who shames her daughter about yeah. what she's eating. Yeah. Like, I did laugh at parts, but I was also confused at a lot of parts as well. 
it was funny and it's it wasn't it doesn't feel like a normal comedy special it feels like its own thing where mm -hmm. tim dylan's obviously a funny and mm -hmm. really interesting guy and the fact that he can do this and still be great at stand-up still have mm -hmm. a great podcast speaks to how talented that he is yeah but it, it feels like something different you know it, what I mean? it was different and he was new. able able to do crowd work and stuff with the audience which yes. was funny um no did you watch this at all i did not i saw i saw some clips that were funny but yeah i, I didn't watch it yet i guess i would what would you grade this i would give it like a b i would give it a just a, a solid b and i really give him points for the creativity of finding a new way to get mm -hmm. his comedy out there but th it's just not uh so new that it's like must uh, it's like i would watch this if i was home sick from school one day or something the same way i would watch jerry springer you right know, it's like oh right, it's on right. at noon yeah i'm not at school one day i don't think it's like <laughs> appointment nighttime viewing that is the vibe that it was giving like i felt like i went to the nurse's office yeah. and got home around 12 30 and then i got home and this was on tv and it's just like a quick like story yeah, of it was something like 45 minutes like you know yeah. spicy salacious. it was it was funny it was funny enough was funny. i agree with the b grading i think that's a good grade for it um tell me lies this episode you're caught up I'm caught up. The Thanksgiving episode. I loved it. Oh my god! It was. I'm gonna give this one an A. I'm gonna give this one an A. Have you ever played that slap game? Have you? No. Ever... And I was like, why the fuck would like have, people play this? Have you ever played this slap shot game? What is this? So game? So it's like you hand someone a shot, you pour them, and then you get to slap them in the face. Like it's literally just like you. I've never played this. No. What is it? Is it a uh, women slapping men? Women slapping men, men slapping men, men slapping, men slapping women? women softly. Like they're all just slapping each other. I've never seen a game like this played. What show is this? Tell me lies. What is it a is, is it's, it real? It, is it a reality show? No, no, it's a scripted scripted, scripted drama. It takes it. place with the kids in in college. Oh, got it. I'm shocked you haven't seen it, but um, I'm not it's based on books. It's very popular I right now. Books. I'm gonna give this an A. This episode. Thank every single holiday episode of a show. Is just, dramatic. Just when I realize, like, there's a point where you're like, oh, they're all gonna end up like, obviously, Stephen's gonna stay home mm -hmm. for Thanksgiving or stay in college, and like, they're all gonna be in one room. Um, but I was happy with the ending. Like, I don't want to spoil it, but like, I feel like she finally stood up for herself in, in, a, in a solid way. Mm -hmm. So I'll give it a B plus. But because Kristen Bell is not no. in it. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, you know what? Maybe I'll give it an A minus. Because because no Kristen, Kristen Bell. Bell is not in it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But no, I, I, it's getting better and better. I like it. So. Yeah, it's solid, solid week for for Tell Me Lies. Okay, Love Is Blind. Who watched Love Is Blind? I'm caught up. I didn't know that I was watching Love Is Blind when I was watching when I was watching Love Is Blind. I just picked up. My wife was watching it, and I just sat down. I because I the. I didn't realize how far we into it we are into it. They're already like out of their. It goes fast. It goes really fast, what and the sometimes hell? they'll have the people out of it while others are still in it. Like they, you know, like they'll yeah. these people are already engaged, but then these people are still in the pods. So I, what I really want to talk about is because I'm not um, finished. I think I watched three episodes or four episodes. I'm not exactly caught up, but the guy Leo who keeps talking about how rich he is and how he's an art dealer and he's come- That's who my wife was just saying is the most ridiculous character that's ever been on a fucking reality show. I, at first, when he started talking about how he like has come into a lot of money and he doesn't really like to talk about it because he didn't know, doesn't know if the people are gonna like him for his money or whatever. I'm like, okay, understandable. And then he couldn't shut up about his money. Everything he talked about was his money. He was having people try on his Rolex. He was like, it's durable. Like he's like a nonstop talking about money. And then he was torn between two women, um, Brittany and Hannah. Okay. And then Hannah and Brittany were both like, you're torn between two women. Like they both were confused why he was torn between two women. He starts asking Brittany, what would you want your engagement ring to look like? And he, and he lets her know, I'm also going to be asking my other connection this. So she's like, why would you even bring, why are you telling me this? Whatever. He ends up guessing which ring she wants is a whole thing. Can't do that. And then hannah his other connection comes in and she's like i'm picking nick like you clearly have another connection leo loses his goddamn he mind. was like moaning on the couch no like like screaming into what the pillow of, what kind of losing his mind no You're he was like moaning? hannah hannah 
Ada, why are you doing this? Won't you marry me right now? If I ask you, you won't marry me right he now? Goes, like, he was like, I love you. Like, there, I said it. He like, was like, I'm... he was like, I only will marry someone I say I love. And guess what? I love you. And I told my other connection, I won't tell her I love her, but I love you. Like, it was just very clear. He got his toy taken away and he, yes. he was like, I want to play with the toy now. Exactly. He didn't like that he was no longer in control. In control. And once she had picked someone else, he freaked the fuck out. It was incredible TV. Because I, I was this love is blind is like it's always good but certain seasons are just like a plus and you never know if they're gonna live up as soon as this guy started screaming i was like all right we're getting it i was like we have some characters on this season and that's a relief to me because the last season was really good um but i'm not finished yet so i will grade the first three episodes i can't remember if i watched three or four which is hard um oh wait so you're not yeah okay I i'm not out anything. yeah don't spoil anything um i'm gonna give it i'll give it a b plus because i was that's very I'm intrigued what about what's the uh who's the football player is there a guy who is a football player used to be oh a, he that's him he was like the kicker like right that's him or no no that he's a paint dealer um the other guy what's his name he was like a kicker. He wasn't in the NFL. Is he think. Nick, the one who keeps talking about how he he said he looked like fucking Henry Cavill, which was insane, and he's saying he's better looking than yeah, Travis Kelsey. Yeah, Nick. Yes, that's this who guy. I'm that guy is that he, guy's crazy. Oh my god, he stinks. He he's saying he's so good looking. I'm better looking than Travis Kelsey, Henry Cavill. I'm like, bro, oh, no, what are you looking at? It's not really spoiling anything, but once like people do get together and see each mm -hmm. other, the other girls were like. That's what he looks like. <laughs> well, he just, he carries himself. He's like so saucy. Like he thinks he's the man. Like yeah. he like sits down. He's like, what's up ladies? Like, yeah. Oh, just, like, it's horrible. The up. fact that they like think that, and it, it makes me feel bad for the girl that was on last season that said she looked like Megan Fox ever and tore her apart. And it's like, we're not going to tear this guy apart for saying he looks like fucking Henry Cavill. Yeah. Like that's insane. Yeah. He doesn't look like Henry Cavill. No, that's not at all. One. And I'm all for guys being confident. Have your yeah, confidence. Sure. But at the same time, uh, the way that he, his, his confidence is like a little bit too uh he's laying it on a little thick yeah I confidence think. with some self-awareness a little a bit of self-awareness it goes a long Just way a little bit of self-awareness so what are you grading it b plus b plus um yeah one couple doesn't go to like the cabo or whatever where they go like where i'm like how and i've seen people say the same thing like how are you not even if they're clearly not going to get married why wouldn't you send them just for the entertainment? Like, mm -hmm. Which was surprising when I was watching it. Do you but. think they have like a contract in that sh show? Why do people always get to the altar? Oh, I think, and they I, have to wait. Till I they think get they there, have right? to wait. I think some of them, they like try to make them really wait until the altar to be like, no, for the dramatic effect. Right, so they m are making them. I think probably you know what I mean? they like contract, it yeah. Yeah, because you wouldn't want your like if you knew you wouldn't have your whole family come just to watch. Right, it. and all, but then there also wouldn't be a show if every time they got to the altar they said yes, then they wouldn't have a show. Yes, I agree, but it also just feels a little fake. Yeah, that you I mean, know that someone's gonna make it to the altar and yeah. then they're, they're I mean, say it's no. the craziest show of all time. Every time they propose. I'm still blown away that they haven't seen each other and they're proposing. Like, I'm like, what? And I've seen four or five seasons of the show. How many seasons of the show there are? Um, last thing I watched was I watched four episodes of the Menendez Brothers, Monsters. These guys are incredible actors. My That's my takeaway from the show is that they're incredible actors. And I am so utterly confused about this case. I wasn't familiar with this case it's at all. It's like a famous 90s case, right? I think it was 80s. 80s. Because um, I asked my parents if they remember, and they remember it really well. I don't, I never even heard of it until this, which makes me feel like kind of stupid, but. I heard about um, it. I just didn't know like it in this great So detail. it's two brothers killed their parents, um, but there's a long history of the parents being very abusive mm -hmm. and a lot of things that go into that. So it's a big case because people are like should they still be they're they're getting a new trial in november now um they're still alive they're yeah, still alive in they're in jail they've been in jail for like 30 years and they're getting a new trial because of all the you know like new publicity to and it. also you know like when someone kills someone and they like quote unquote like crimes of passion or like yeah. reasonings mm. behind it you know gypsy rose killing right, her right, mom right. because i think there's a lot of that going on but um Interesting. my main takeaway because i am not so familiar with the case and i'm learning about it as i watch even though there's a lot of they say 
that a lot of what's in the show the is accurate. Not happy. Yeah. But then the director is saying like they should be thanking me because everyone's Yeah, people are upset them. with Ryan Murphy because they think that there's not an accurate depiction of what happened in the show, which is always going to happen with these kinds of shows. They're incredible actors though. That's my yeah. main focus of this is that these guys are really fucking good. You, did you watch the scene where it's like one take? Not yet. That's oh, the yeah. next that's episode 5. That's my next episode. Um so I'm going to actually going to give this What did you grade it last week? Probably a B plus. I'm gonna go B plus. Not copying you, but that's kind of where I was headed anyway. Just because it's a, it's. If, if it was like a hundred percent true, and the family was like, "This is," then I'd maybe give it like an A minus. Right, but, but the controversy surrounding it, yeah. I'm like, it eh. feels weird. To, I don't know. Also, just that it's a true story about them murdering their parents and like. Right, I'm it's like, dark. This is awesome. And I was watching. <laughs> fan edits, like I. I'm not gonna lie. I was watching it with my parents, and they were like, <laughs> "You're getting ideas." They were like. <laughs> Uh, Maria, why do you keep asking so many questions? I was like, I just, it's You're really interesting. Right I, I was like, oh my God, their parents were so aggravating. My dad was like, stop. <laughs> it is a trend though, like that TikTok edit that I sent you, like of everyone watching that TikTok edit. Yeah, like, wait, and then Marty ordered cookies, like surprise cookie. We were watching with my parents and um, he just ordered like dessert to the house, like for my family. And they were they were so excited that we got cookies and they were like, is this like a distraction? Like, we're like <laughs> are, are you poison? are you trying to like distract us with cookies poison right now? Uh, but it was it's good because the actors are great and people are now obsessed with them. Obviously, yeah. Um, it seems super intense. I, it is. I, my wife was watching it in the other room while I was on the phone. Yeah, I've never ha asked her to turn a show down before. It's this was my first. Time. It's very very intense. It, it was it, like just like crazy mute people screaming mm -hmm. insane. It's like, also one of those rare like music. I went into it kind of expecting the murder to be like toward the end of the show and it's just like first episode there it is well that's why i was like okay yeah they killed their parents done what's what's there to learn but yeah. obviously you learned about all the abuse that they went through before that do they get into their lawyer like do they have a, a female lawyer yeah. yeah yeah she's a very big part of it because she's I saw the roommate in uh sopranos if you guys watch sopranos meadows roommate oh. really yeah I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I saw like old clips of her and she just seemed, she was on like Bill Maher or something like that. And she was like a pit bull and people would be like, well, like your clients like blew their, like blew like their parents heads off. And she's like, well, they didn't actually blow their heads off. <laughs> like she just is like super specific <laughs> about every word. Yeah. She seems like a great lawyer. Right. Though. I mean, so somebody you want to have on your <laughs> side, if you blow your parents heads off, you better have a good she lawyer. Didn't blow the heads off. <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. Um, that's everything I watch. Um, I watched the the movie The Prestige this week oh. for the first time. No, but I rewatched. Rewatch. That's a that's a favorite of ours on the show. Oh, really? Yeah. You guys like? I it watched a lot? it for the first time not too long ago. I told Loved you to watch it. it. Yeah, yeah. I give it a like pr pretty much just a, a straight A. Mm -hmm. It's fucking incredible. Yeah. It's such a good, such movie. a good, exciting, suspenseful movie. So good. Yeah. I watched because that that was one that you watched recently because I kept saying you have to watch yeah, the Prestige. Yeah. You have to watch the Prestige. That's a re that's Love a Christian solid Bale. A. Yeah, Christian Bale's incredible yeah. in it. Hugh Jackman's yeah. great in when it. Michael Caine's great. When did in you it. find out Christian Bale had an accent? In the movie? In real life. Right now. Yeah, <laughs> very recently. Very recently for me as well. In in the past two years, I found out Christian Bale. Because he's such had an a good accent. actor, it's like he could just be embodying mm -hmm. any role. Yeah. There's uh, videos of him when he was like a child, and it's crazy to watch. Really? He seemed like a really smart kid, but like when he's like 10, mm -hmm. just talking, like. Just a, a good. What is he, British? Or Australian? We still don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, think I still Australia, don't know. I, I feel like Australian, right? That's so funny. But in the movie, he has like an accent like yeah. this. That kind of sounds he's like English. Michael he's English. Oh, yeah. oh, he's English. Well, he's English. He's English. He's English. He has like a stupid English. Like, <laughs> like 330. Yeah. <laughs> you got a good accent. Yeah. Going back to accents. It's not Russian, but. No. Well, it's no Russian. No Russian. Um, I also watched a movie called The Beekeeper on a plane recent, uh, on the way back. Is, and that, that fucking sucks. Is that Statham? Yeah, Jason yeah. Statham. That was stupid. And then uh, since the last time I've been on, I also watched uh, It Ends With Us. Thoughts? I didn't like it that much. Mm. Wow. Uh, not as good as the book. Did you read the book? No, but I've heard people say <laughs> it's not as good as <laughs> I just thought it was like a little bit cheesy, especially at the very beginning when they both meet each other. Mm -hmm. I like laughed out loud. When, when and I it's not it. supposed to be like funny. Yeah. When she's like, uh, he like kicks open the door and she's basically like, just like, I'm so random. Like, like, did you know, like human heads weigh seven pounds mm. she's like the little kid from jerry Maguire, just like saying like <laughs> random facts it's like uh 
I, I just thought it could be so much more impactful. But then I saw that the box at the box office, it did incredibly well. Yeah, I think it was because there was a lot of drama surrounding it. And also a lot of people read the book. So people were flocking to it, flocking to see it. I actually liked it better than I thought I was going to like it. Better I, than the book? No. You didn't read the book? Yes, I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. I didn't think you read the book. Okay. Fuck you. <laughs> you don't you read? <laughs> I immediately jumped out. You didn't read the book. <laughs> yes, I did. I talked so much about reading this book. Um, I just, I thought it was better than what I thought it was going to be, honestly. What would you grade it? Uh, like a C. Ooh. Sad to say. And I want to, I went in with, I don't even like to watch previews of movies before I watch them. Mm -hmm. I like to go and not knowing a single thing of what they're about. Mm -hmm. It just didn't do it for me. But I'm still a team Blake Lively though. Mm. Oh, like in real life? In real life, yeah. I'm not going to let her get canceled just because she had like a bad moment she in 2016. Have her, that's very fair. Have her Barbie moment with that's this That's fair. Movie, that's what people. That's what Noah. Noah's taking the things from out. He goes, "He's trying to have a Barbie moment." Noah saw a couple of tweets that said that. <laughs> no, I, I definitely did. But then I was yeah. like, it kind of is true. Like, yeah. You know? What was her Barb? What do you mean? Her like, Barbie like, moment? like, have a. I don't know how to describe it, but kind like, of like the, what she wore to the event. So, the, so like, the movie was about domestic violence, yes, yes. and like all of Blake Lively's promotion was like her and her hair like, products, and friends. like flying. She was like, "Grab your florals and your friends," and um, people were like okay well there should be more of like a warning of what this movie's about because people could show up that right. like have trauma and then they warning. and like and, then yeah. they watch it and they're like they think this is a movie and about like florals and friends where all, and her name interview. is lily bloom <clears throat> yes very very floral barbie moment yeah and then just about tony was like only talking about the right domestic violence yeah aspect it was it. the juxtaposition of the yeah. two that was not great well, i didn't go in to the movie thinking about domestic violence mm -hmm. and obviously well it's not a trigger warning for me but uh it was, it that was like a welcome fold of it, not just being a regular rom com. So maybe mm -hmm. she wasn't trying to spoil it, but it doesn't seem like that's what people right. Are saying. And she I think that's what people are like. It's not a rom com, and she's making it seem like it's a rom com. So that's what the whole discussion. She's like, go watch was it with about. your friends in Rome. It's like, all right, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. It's like on the, my drop top convertible on the way to the. Is that you got everything? That was. Um, what was you write the beekeeper? I don't think you gave a grade. Like a, f a, a C minus. Hmm. You can go F. We we've thrown if some Fs terrible. around here. Noah's thrown some Fs. Really? When Kristen Bell's in it. <laughs> yeah, he just hates Kristen yeah. Bell. Kristen Bell. Um, I'm trying to think. Anything else that I've watched? I went for a, I went for a walk in Prospect Park. I'll give that an A. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> just watching. Life. It was really nice. I went to the K Tronada concert on uh, oh. on. Uh, Saturday night, I give that a a B. Oh, okay. Pretty fun. B, not full A. I always wondered about a. the. I th honestly thought I liked some of his music, and then I saw that he was playing. But I'm like, I don't know. Like his music's those, awesome. His that concert wasn't as good it's as his music. Just him like playing his songs, like. Right. But but I was, I saw him at Forest Hills. I also saw Fred again at Forest Hills. That was like one of the best experiences of my life. Really? It was like just the way that the show came together. He's just mixing it, mm. moving all over the place. Everybody's going crazy. He was kind of just, I'm not a DJ, I don't know, but he would just play a song, stop it, play yeah. another song, mm. stop it. But Fred again like does it live. Is what, yeah, like, Fred again fucking ruled. Yeah. Are you a fan of Fred again or Kate Trinata? No. Neither? No. Have you ever even tried no, to listen to I, Fred I'm, again? I'm not saying I'm not, like I don't even... Haven't even listened. Treat yourself to some Fred again. I always see people talking about Fred again. I feel like he's kind of, he had like a moment where he was just like the only thing people were talking about. Yes. Like yes. Kind of that like was like last year. Faded, right. It was last bit. year. Everyone was talking about Fred again and I never even dove in. It was still, that was like a, a paramount concert experience in my life that I'm still chasing. Really? It was that fun. Hmm. So maybe I need to dive in. Maybe I need, like you said, treat myself. Treat yourself. Noah, what did you watch? Maybe I'll have some recommendations for you guys, like <laughs> since you didn't watch okay. as much. Okay, I'm ready. Um, so yeah, watch Nobody Wants This. Give that a B plus. Tell Me Lies A minus. Love Is Blind B plus. I watched the new uh, George Clooney Brad Pitt movie on Apple TV. Oh, what is that? Where they're they're like fixers? Yeah, that seems really good. Yeah, and for some reason, I when I heard about it, I was just like, oh, that's probably bad since like I haven't seen it promoted that much, and it's just probably like a money grab. But um, it was good. Like it wasn't groundbreaking or incredible but i they have great chemistry it's kind of like nostalgia oceans 11 yeah exactly mm -hmm. um and yeah it was just like a fun movie um so you, had, you had a good time i had a good time i'll give that a b minus i'll give that a b i'll give that a okay b. no i'll give that a b minus 
decide. B-. Your, <laughs> it's, it's really your B- call. <laughs> uh, but I would definitely say it's worth watching, mm-hmm. and it's a uh, good watch. And also, I was just like, how is Brad Pitt over 60? I mean, they're both over 60, but yeah. Brad Pitt looks like he's 40. It's crazy. Uh, handsome. Timelessly handsome. Yeah. It's What's Inside. It's a new movie on Netflix. I highly recommend this one. And I would highly recommend that you don't look anything up about the movie, and that's why I won't say anything what before genre? watching it. Uh, I would say it's like, it's horror, oh. like, but not really. Yeah. It's not, it's, I was about to say I'm out too. Yeah. It's not really like scary like that. Um, it's you said more like horror right it, off the bat. Thriller, suspense? Th- uh, maybe more thriller and like psychological, like, Ooh. it's hard to explain, but it really, it's a bunch of friends. I'll give you this. It's a bunch of friends who who are getting together. One of them's getting married, so they're all like reuniting the night before the wedding. And this one friend that they haven't seen in a while, like he just kind of shows up with a suitcase, and he opens a suitcase. And what happens after that is is what the whole ensues. Movie. Yeah, what's but inside? Say, exactly. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, what are you grading it? I'll give that a B plus. Like I was very much entertained. It's funny, very funny. Um, it's funny, it but think. it's horror. It's a mix of everything. Okay. but it really, I really wouldn't think it's not scary. There was no point where I'm like, oh fuck, like I'm scared. It, it it's very Black Mirror-ish if I had to describe mm. it. Um, Psychological. Felt like a long, yeah, felt like a long like Black Mirror episode. Um, and then I watched the first two episodes last night of the show. I don't even know if I'm saying this right. Grotesquery. It's tr- the show Travis Kelsey's in, mm-hmm. and that's why the one I Donna it. Kelsey's at a press run for. Yeah, because he was the thumbnail of the thing. I'm like, oh, let me watch this. He's not. He has not been in the show yet. It's been two so episodes. classic. Uh, that is so classic. They baited you. Yeah. They baited and switched but you. But it's. I didn't know what to expect, and it's like a serious show about. It's kind of like Seven, the movie Seven. Like, is he an actor? He acts in it. He's acting in it. He's what? an actor. Yeah. Travis Kelsey got an acting he's job been, this he's summer. Multiple. I think he's got multiple shows what? and movies coming out. I think that one, and I, I think he's just hosting the Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader mm-hmm. Celebrity yeah. Edition. I haven't seen him act in this yet. He hasn't been in the show yet, but it's it's like a serial serial killers on the loose with these like very strategic and terrifying, mm-hmm. disgusting like murders, um, and it's like trying to catch who did it. Uh, but yeah, I would I would give it a B so far. I'm excited to see what Travis Kelsey does, and yeah, that That's one. It? If you're not like into scary stuff, I wouldn't watch it because it's I don't pretty. Like it's pretty I don't like to be scary. Gruesome and graphic. Some solid watches from you. Yeah, those are all B B range. No, no, I was thinking that I'm like all in the B range. Damn, you had some good watches. Could have dipped good into week. A if it, yeah. was, if it wasn't for. Chris, Kristen Bell. damn Kristen Bell. <laughs> that's all you watch? That's, that's all I watch. All right, guys. Well, thank you, Rowan, for joining us. Thank we really me. chatted it up. I'm really glad we got to do yeah. this. Anytime you want to come on and talk about Bravo, any Love of it. your interests, please do. And uh, that's it, guys. That's everything we watched.